On the 8th of February, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, filed a five-count charge against a senior advocate of Nigeria, Dele Belgore, and a former Minister of Planning, Professor Abubakar Suleiman. In the charges, the two men who were listed as the only defendants allegedly conspired with the former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Dezani Alison Madwike, to launder 450 million naira. The Anti Graft Commission claims that the money was part of a larger sum of $115 million, which Mrs. Alison Madwike allegedly doled out to compromise the 2015 general elections. Although the former minister was named in certain counts of the she was not listed as a defendant. The EFC has been at large. <laughs> Trial progressed considerably in the case as three prosecution witnesses have so far testified and faced cross examination. At the proceedings of Tuesday, October 3rd, the former minister, through her lawyers, brought to the notice of the court an application she had filed seeking to be joined as one of the defendants in the charge. In the application, Mrs. Alison Madweke urged the courts to compel the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Abubakar Malami, to bring her back to Nigeria from the United Kingdom where she traveled to after leaving office in 2015. The former minister says that she would like to appear in court in Nigeria to defend the criminal charge since her name has been mentioned. <laughs> Her lawyer, Onyechi Piazo, a senior advocate, told trial judge Justice Rilwan Aikawa that the complaints against his clients in the UK was made by the EFCC, and if the commission was mindful of prosecuting her over there, it should expunge her name from the charges in Nigeria or allow her to come clear her name. One of the defendants, Mr. Dele Belgori, has opposed the application. He contends that Mrs. Alice Madweke is not a necessary party to the suit, as the court can determine his innocence and that of his co-defendant without the former minister. The EFCC, on its part, described Mrs. Alice Madweke's application as frivolous and a calculated attempt to annoy the parties before the court. The commission also argues that after fleeing the country and making herself unavailable, the application of the former minister is misconceived, belated, and only aims to delay the trial, especially as the court cannot make an order against the government of the UK for extradition. After listening to the submissions of parties, Justice Aikawa adjourned to Wednesday, November 1. For